Hey, good morning, everybody. I uh, just wanted to show you a painting, which is still wet. I uh, painted it yesterday, but it's still wet weather, you know. It takes a while when the weather is like this. But uh, now the top part up here that you see light, that's not really light. That's the glare from the window, whatever. But this is the color. And I really like that. It's really pretty cool. But I just did that one yesterday, and I will be showing it to you after it dries real good, because it makes a difference when it's dry and when it's wet. I think that's why I like to varnish it, because it brings out the color so brilliantly. But I have done a few of them that I will not varnish, because I think it's perfect the way it is. Not that I think I did the perfect job. It did the perfect job. Good morning, guys. I'm back. Uh, and now it's getting stuffy in here. Ooh, I had to turn on this little space heater I got in here a little bit, which I'm fixing to turn it down now because I'm starting to feel hot. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little clip about that newest painting. Um, and hey, I am in awe. I can't believe so many people want that painting. I'm just like, oh my god! But, uh, I mean, wow. You know, here I am. I cut all these little strips of paper so I can cut them small, of course, and write the names down of all of you all that would like to have it and put it in something. Right now, I'm not sure what. And, um, uh, have it ready for on the 20th where Noah will pick out one of them and I wish every one of you luck. I wish I could give every single one of you one, but unfortunately it doesn't work like that. Um, but really, I, I'm so thankful to all of you. You know, you all have helped me both monetarily. You've helped me with encouraging me. Uh, you've helped me with your concerns about me and you've helped me with your love and that I feel from so many of you and you know I love you all too I really really do it's I know a lot of people say how can you love someone you don't know wrong you do know you know me I know you and we don't have to be out there talking to each other every day and uh, just going places together or whatever. It's like like kindred spirits. That's what I feel like with you, with every single one of you. And I'm so thankful that you're there. Okay, now, on these pictures, on the picture, when I noticed, like, some of you, the little icons on the comments have your picture on it. Some have nothing on it at all except a, a, a color dot. But your name or what you go by is on there. But some of you have, like, an icon with maybe a letter, like a B or a C or what have you. But it doesn't show the name next to it. And... I need to know that because I can't just put blue dot, red dot, you know, <laughs> too many that color. So please, if it's something like that, write your name, your first name, your middle, uh, your last name initial, so that I can put it on the paper because otherwise I can't. So just make sure that I know who you are so I can write it down. Okay, now, I know some of you have been concerned also about my health. And yes, I am a lot healthier when I'm in nature than I am here. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe it's because my body is adjusted to living in nature and not living in an area like this. Whether it's a big town or a little town, it's different. Uh, I feel free in nature, I don't feel free here. 
<coughs> you know, there's been times I've, I've just, in the summertime especially, I have gotten up, because sometimes I don't sleep well, and I've stepped outside and I actually dance to the moon, you know. I, when I know I'm all by myself out there, and nobody's near because I don't want to scare them with my voice. I'll sing. I'll sing at the top of my lungs. I love it. I... No, I don't go around naked. <laughs> Although sometimes, I, and I'm being honest, sometimes I would like to do that. But you never know. <laughs> and I'm not taking no chance, okay? Um, I, I don't want to scare all the wild li wildlife away either. <laughs> Anyway, oh God, why did I even say that? <laughs> but uh, I do, I miss it. I can't wait to get back out on it. Noah and I, every day we're searching. Uh, we have found a pontoon boat that we really like, but like I said the other day, he wants 700 for it. And that's an awesome good price. But he won't take the payment, you know, like the beginning of the month, will you wait till the first of the month and then whatever day he gets his money. Because his days are different anyway. Uh, but he has not responded, so we figure he doesn't want to do that. But if he still has it when we have the money, uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to go get that one because that's going to be the perfect size of the 24 foot long it's going to be the perfect size for us for what we want um so anyway we're gonna see about that whenever we have the money <laughs> in the meantime we're still looking you know it may be meant that something else much better is going to come through we've seen a couple of them that doesn't have a trailer so that means we not only have to buy it, but then we have to buy the trailer also, which may make it a little bit more difficult. Um, some of them are too far away, and uh, they don't look really good. <laughs> but before we do buy something, though, we are definitely going to go look at it. We are definitely going to inspect it, make sure everything's just the way it needs to be. Because we don't want to buy something and then find out we're going to have to put twice that amount out just to get it to in the water. So, it's just, I believe that we can do it. I truly believe. And that, I think, is the main thing. We have to believe. If we have doubts, then we're not going to get anything. Doubts really deprive us of the joy of what we want and I am not going to doubt it I, I believe that the right one whichever one it is will come through and that we'll be able to get it I know that I want to be out by June I want to be out in the water by June so yeah it's kind of pushing it but it can be done it can be done so Guys, in the meantime, <laughs> I want to thank you all. Thank you all for your encouragement. Thank you all for your love. And thank you all for your interest in the painting. I enjoy doing that painting. You know, I really believe that this type of painting, which I used to do abstracts also, but I used the brush. But this, I don't know. I, I like to see what it wants to do for itself. And I think that beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. I believe that in the abstract aspect of it, we see, I don't think it's just with our eyes, we see within us. I mean, I could look at a painting and, oh, it looks like a painting. Yeah, that's nice. But if I really concentrate on it and I put my mind into it, I can actually see different things in it. And that's what I like about abstracts. So, guys, love y'all. Peace. Hugs. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.